Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 12th. This is for, you know, the 12th, but the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. And this reading may or may not be for you. This is just a daily reading for somebody. I don't know who. Oh, we have the Empress here. The Empress. She doesn't settle for less than she deserves. So, hmm. Somebody is walking away. There's been a delay, though. Some, but there's been some sort of delay or some sort of hmm, lack of movement. Definitely. Somebody hasn't been taking action. Maybe she's going to take take the situation in her own hands because she knows what she's worth. So I'm not sure what we got going on here, but somebody hasn't been taking action. All right, and somebody's walking away. This has been too much. It has. It's been stressful. There's been a lot of uh, mental turmoil, right? There has. There's been a lot of anguish, fears, worry. But, you know, somebody is like, I, I, I don't want to worry about this anymore. It's too much for me. Whew. I'm taking a break. Somebody is deciding to take a break. I'm not, I don't, you know, set some boundaries. I think we have somebody here that is about to set, set some boundaries. Um, not put in any more effort at all. Yeah, somebody's deciding that, you know, I'm not going to put an effort to this. I'm not going to do this. You know, if you think about the Empress, she is, she knows her value. She does. She's a beautiful, compassionate person. You know, okay, she, she is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. So she offers love. But she also knows, you know, that she deserves love. So I feel as though we have this really compassionate person who has really tried to nurture a situation but she's probably uh, deciding to give up it looks to me like we have somebody here that's deciding to give up I'm not gonna I'm not gonna nurture this anymore there's no commitment here L losing faith somebody is losing faith and trust in a situation um, we these are both the sign of Taurus so, I don't know if we're dealing with a Taurus. We have Cancer. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, but this is Libra as well. So, we have somebody here who is this, you know, knows their value and what they can bring, you know, what they have to offer. This person has endured a lot of pain. This person has a lot of life experience. And, you know, there isn't much this person hasn't seen. So I feel like we have somebody here that is losing faith and trust and, and starting to give up on a situation and, or is giving up, like putting it to a halt, you know, putting the, putting the brakes on, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just going to stop this right now. Um, they may have been restricting themselves for some reason. There's been a lot of indecision and somebody may have been in denial. Right, somebody may have been denial about the truth, uh, trying to pretend that you know it really wasn't what it was, but it is what it is, right? So I think that somebody's been holding on to um, maybe a lie or an illusion or something like that. There's definitely been a lot of anxiety and caused from this situation, whatever it is. Somebody's there's been a lot of. Uh, internal struggle right there has it's been a huge struggle dealing with whatever this situation is i feel like we have somebody here that has been you know there's probably a, there's definitely been a lack of movement there's movement there's been a lack of progress and i feel like we have somebody here that is just like you know i'm not gonna put in effort 
I'm not going to commit myself to this. I'm putting this, putting the brakes on. I'm putting the brakes on and I'm walking away because I know my value. I know my worth and not going to, I'm not going to move forward with this anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not. We're not. We're done. <laughs> Absolutely. Somebody is putting the brakes on. It's just like, or, uh, no. Mm -mm. Cutting all communication, stopping communication, maybe even blocking communication. And we have somebody here that is just like, done. Done. We're not moving forward anymore. We're, 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 we're calling it quits because there's no action being taken. Um, there's no victory and success here. There's no commitment. There's no communication. I mean, there's, there's lack of communication. I mean, there, communication is key. So with no communication, there's really no, uh, relationship. So, and she knows that she has life experience. Okay. A lot of life experience. She or he, she or he may be deciding, you know what? Pfft. Done. Not, not doing this. Um, I'm going to focus on the future. I'm going to get prepared for, uh, what is meant to be. I feel like I'm, I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to hope for the best in the future. I'm going to turn my back on the past. I'm going to turn my back on this situation. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is wanting, you know, a victorious outcome you know I want balance I want harmony I want peace I want success I you know I want to be recognized and I feel like they're dealing with another person that isn't recognizing their value so I think somebody is basically really seriously putting putting on the brakes okay definitely putting on the brakes I mean this right here this is going to be labeled break time because that's what we got here. We got break time. So, um, and it's because, you know, it is, it's because there was no lack of communication. There was, or no commun or very little communication, no action being taken. Um, and now it's like this, it's like there's self-esteem and the self-worth. I know my worth, you know, mm -mm. Hermit reversed. Somebody may be going through some sort of crisis, you know, midlife crisis, and they may have um, fear of growing old alone, or they maybe they just need want to be alone, or they need to come out of their shell, and they're not coming out of their shell, and maybe that's why there's no progress being made. It's like somebody is hiding. Somebody has been in hiding, and they haven't been able to master their emotions to move forward. I feel as though... We're dealing with somebody who has difficulty communicating. Um, they talk, but they can't walk the walk. It's like they don't follow through with anything. And I feel like somebody is, is you know, deciding to put it to a halt. I mean, there's, you, you're not following through with what, you know, what you say. Five of Swords reverse. It's like, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be, be I'm not gonna be treated like this. Um, coming out of this conflict, I'm gonna, I, I, you know, I really feel like I'd rather be happy. Somebody's like, you know what? I need I need to be happy and holding on to this anxiety, holding on to this worry, worrying about you know saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing or calling you or or, or whatever, worrying about the conflict, worrying about the you know, doing the wrong thing or whatever is causing too much anxiety, walking on eggshells. I think we have somebody here that's been walking on eggshells, scared of, you know, making the wrong move. And now they're to the point where I don't care if I crack the eggshells. I don't, I don't care if the eggshells get cracked. I don't care what happens. You know, I just want to be happy. I'm not going to hold on to this power struggle anymore. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to this is too much conflict for me. It is. It's causing me too much mental turmoil, right? It's it's causing me too much stress to, you know, deal with these, this lose-lose situation, which it appears to be. It appears to be a lose-lose situation because no matter what you say, it's like you're not getting any reciprocation. 
um, or you're not getting any satisfaction or something like there's no faith in it there's no it's like there's a real lack of communication here which is causing strife and I feel like we have somebody here that is just like you know what I'm going to turn my back on this situation. I'm going to focus on the future. And I'm going to wait for my right ship to arrive and be patient. I think that's what we got going on here. Um, yeah, somebody may have been deceiving themselves. So they may have been dealing with a very deceptive individual. They may have been dealing with a she snake. <laughs> A snake. <laughs> a snake. That's funny how that came out. Anyway, somebody that's very shady. Somebody that's been hiding something. We got somebody here that hasn't been telling the whole truth. And that's why they haven't been communicating. But I think this 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 person right here, she's, I mean, this person has so much life experience. It's like you can't really pull one over on her because she's got, she's wise. She's wisened up. Okay, so... I think we got somebody here that sees the truth, okay, that sees the truth of a shady situation and is deciding, you know what, <laughs> no, mm -mm. I'm going to set up the boundary now and I'm going to put, put the brakes on and I'm not going to communicate because I know what I deserve. So I think that somebody is making a decision to... Um, bring balance back to their lives. I feel like we have somebody here that is like, you know what, I gotta be honest with myself. I have to make this choice because it's the best choice for me. We gotta, I gotta do the right thing for me and right now the right thing for me is to let go of this anxiety, let go, let go of this worry, let go of this mental conflict about what is or isn't happening you know i don't I, best thing for me to do is basically sever sever the ties you know it's basically time for me to you know open my eyes accept accept it for what it is and do what i gotta do for me because you know i deserve balance i deserve harmony i deserve you know justice i deserve what i i deserve all the good things i deserve to be valued um Endings bring new beginnings, death card. This is a release. We have somebody here that is releasing. Mm hmm. Somebody is releasing something. They're releasing something that has been weighing them down. It was a it was a it was a shady situation. Whatever it is that they're releasing, somebody is releasing a deceptive situation where the, the, there, were, there was some something that was hidden. There was some sort of secrets. There was uh, arguments, okay, or miscommunications, misunderstandings because of lack of communication. You know, you know, you've, we've all read about, you know, uh, no communication is a, is a message when, and that's the truth. That's when the, that's when the misunderstandings come in. No communication brings up, brings about misunderstandings. And I think there's been a lot of misunderstandings, which has caused a lot of mental turmoil. And now there's somebody here that is like, it's time to let this go. <laughs> Definitely. It's, it's release. Release to live again. Release to begin again. You know, I gotta do what's right for me. So I, it's time for me to to sneak out of this situation. I feel like somebody is is gonna just sneak right away. It's like 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 uh, slowly dissolve themselves from the situation. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna sneak right out of here, like it never even happened. You know, so that's kind of what I see here. Because I know, I know that I deserve more. I deserve, you know. I deserve the perfect opportunity, right? I'm going to get prepared. I'm going to work on myself, and I'm going to get prepared for, for the arrival that 
is best for me and at this point this is not it so that's what I think I think that we're with we got somebody here that is is wide awake you know they're seeing the truth of a situation and they're they're deciding to release a shady situation where there's there's been some something that's been hidden some there's been some hidden factors and somebody's putting the brakes on it's like no mm -mm. six of cups a lot of reminiscing going on memories nostalgia Real, remembering what love is and I think we got somebody here that is remembering what love is and we have somebody here that's been reluctant been reluctant to let go been reluctant to let go and probably maybe this is because you know they have a lot of memories with this person some you know maybe there's a soulmate connection and that's why they've been reluctant to let go but i feel like we got somebody here that is releasing they're, they're, they're transitioning away from a situation that has really stolen a lot of their energy, a lot of their uh, it's almost, I'm trying to think of the word for it, it's like there's a lot of mental anguish here, it's really stolen a lot of their, their energy, seriously and now it's like I got to release this so that I can, you know, be live again so that I can be healthy, you know, because where I'm at, there's no, there's no balance. There's no harmony. Same deal. There's, there's, it's too troublesome. A lot of swords here. A lot of swords. And a lot of them are reversed, but some of them are upright. It doesn't matter. There's been a lot of mental anguish over letting go of this probably soulmate connection. You know, it's like I see, I feel the soulmate connection, but... With this lack of communication or this lack of movement and this lack of whatever it is, everything, you know, I can't, I, I know my worth and I got to do what's right for me. So I'm making a cut and I'm, I'm walking away. So we do have a tower moment. Okay. A rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a rude, rude, rude awakening because, you know, the fault structure is about to come crashing down. Okay. Some, the, Be prepared. It's going to be a shock. I think it is going to be a shock. It's going to be a shock. I think it's going to be a shock to the other person. I do. I think, or the or the other people involved. I think that. I think that you know, it's going to. They probably thought it was never going to crumble. They probably thought that, you know, you were always going to be waiting, or that you were always going to be there. That this false connection, or whatever it was, this false sense of security, was always going to, you know be waiting for them but I think it's going to be a shock when they realize that there's no fixing it there is no fixing it you know once it crumbles I mean <laughs> rarely can it really I mean yeah sometimes it can be rebuilt but it takes a lot of work I feel like we have a false sense of security or a false foundation that is about to crumble. It's and it's going to be quite a shock to the other person. Somebody may end, obviously, I think somebody's going to end up going their own way, <laughs> you know, becoming single. They're going to, you know, somebody's going to be end up becoming single or they're going <clears> to, <throat> I 
Well, this is like closing a chapter. This is closure to me. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone than have all this mental conflict. Seriously. So anyway, I feel like we have a rude awakening coming for somebody. Because it's time to start fresh. It's time to start over. It, it is. I can't take this baggage with me on my journey. I want to be a free spirit. I don't want to carry this load. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding that if they're going to start from scratch. They are absolutely going to start from scratch. Is there... Be prepared. Be prepared for a swift change. A swift, swift change is coming. It's going to happen like out of the blue. It is. It's going to happen suddenly. There's going to be a sudden change, a sudden release where somebody says, you know what? Time for me to go. I'm worth more than this. They've been holding on, though. Holding on. Definitely somebody's been holding on, but it's like now they, they know they can't. They can't hold on anymore. They can't hold on anymore. They can't. Well, the universe is, this is a universe. The universe is like, no, uh-uh. This is too much. This is overwhelming. Look at all the, the sort. I'm telling you what, this is overwhelming. It's causing overwhelming mental strife. It has to crumble. This is too much. It's too much for any person to handle. We got to, we got to bring this down because you have to, you know. It's time. It's time to live again. It's time to be happy. It's Success, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Whatever that means. Let me get another one. What can we do here? I think that we will go with this one. So yeah, expect a, a rude awakening for somebody. Somebody's going to get a rude awakening. That somebody is done. That's what I see. There's no balance. There's no harmony. There's no reciprocation. There's lack of communication. Barely any. And I know my value. And I know my worth. And I know what I deserve. And I want love. And if there ain't no love. Because there ain't no communication. Then I'm going to wait for the one that will love me. Because I got love to offer. That's what I see. And I don't know who this reading is for. It may or may not be for you. But I see somebody, you know, going after what they deserve. Whatever that means. Two. We're only going to pick one. Wise leader. I told you she was wise. I knew she was. I told you she was. She is wise. This this person has a lot of life experience that has come through suffering. I mean, the Empress has learned her her experience through suffering. She knows. She she knows. And she is not going to settle for less than she deserves. So, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is saying, "You know what? See ya." Wise leader. You are a beacon for others. You are a leader. You carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others. Even if you're not always aware of the depth of wisdom within you, it's emerging by leaps and bounds. This is a time to step into your power and take a role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the wet reins. Make decisions. It's okay if you're not 100% sure. Make decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. And the reins have been turned over to the other person for quite some time. The other person has been in control. But now we have the other one that is making a decision to take back control. That's what we got going on here. On the journey, it is easy to tell who the leaders are. 
They have an inner grace and strength that glows from within. And here is your leader. Okay, this is your leader. Others travel on the pathways that the leaders have created. The wise leader holds up the flame as a torch for others in the darkest night. But the leader also listens to the beat of their own drum. Grab the reins of life on your terms. Don't live to please and appease others to the detriment of your own needs. This is not what a leader does. Live without regrets. And I, that is what we got going on today. Somebody is about to take the reins back from somebody that has been in control of their happiness. Because it's time to live again and not hold on to this mental strife. Good luck.